Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing today? Everything good? Good evening, teacher. Everything okay. What about you? Everything good. Nice. Everything good, guys. Everything good. Is it raining where you're at? No? No. Right here, it's, it's not raining. It's not raining? No. It's beginning now. Okay. Yeah. It, um, yes, guys. It's uh, it's really hot. I really, really need some rain. You know, I hope we do have some, you know, some some sort of storm coming our way, because it's really, really hot. So, how was work today, Edgar? What do you do? Uh, today I, I stay at the little store. And the working, little store. Yeah, working with the customers. They come and pay bills. I have a, a little store for Tigo Money. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. What about you, uh, Nidia? How was... How was work today? What about you, Caesar? How was work today? She, she I think she didn't hear me. Hello, teacher. Hello, everybody. I was working and I was studying at the university. Online classes. Okay, very nice. What about you, uh, Ceci? How was work today? Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, uh, very relaxing because I don't have, um, I don't have a lot of things to do. So I was, I had a nice day. Okay. All right. All right. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Uh, what about you, Gabby? How was work today? Today is my day off, so I didn't work. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> so, so, you got, so you got to sleep today, huh? No? All right. Yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. Anyways, uh, welcome, guys. Good to see you. So, guys, let's finish talking about modal verbs and I got some practice for you. The only part that we're missing, guys, is permission, prohibition, and obligation. Okay, so those are the three types of modal verbs that we're missing, right? So let's get some practice. All right, so let me show you the presentation, guys. This one, right? Very good, guys. So uh, so we talked about modal verbs. We know that they are they auxiliaries, guys. Are modal verbs auxiliaries, yes or no? What do you think? Yay or nay, guys? Are they auxiliaries, yes or no? Hey, whoever doesn't participate today is gonna sing. Okay, we're gonna sing the Backstreet Boys, right? So. Tell me, are they auxiliaries or can be can they be used as auxiliaries or not, ladies and gentlemen? I think so, too. Only can, maybe. Guys, they are used as auxiliaries, okay? And there is a reason why I'm asking that. Because when we talk about permission, guys, we're going to see the structure of, you know, of questions. Okay, we're gonna see the structure of questions. So, um, so 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 that's that's you know that's the reason why it's very important to understand to um, to understand you know if we can uh, use them as auxiliaries, right? Yes, guys, modal verbs are auxiliaries. Okay, so the modal verb that we have that we can use, guys, for permission is can or be allowed to. Right now, be allowed to, guys, is not a motor verb, right? But but be allowed to, guys, is like, you know, like can, right? 
So for example, if I say, guys, you can park here, right? Is that an ability? Because remember, can can be used as as an as an as a model verb for ability, right? But if I say, guys, you can park here, is that is this here, guys? Is that is that ability? It's a it's a what? No, no it's a no. permission. All right, no, it's permission, right? Permission. Exactly. Okay, so yes. So we can use can guys to talk about permission. And we can say, guys, be allowed to too, right? You can say be allowed to stay up late. All right. So what is the structure, guys? Okay, it's simple present, guys. Okay, the, the structure for simple present. So we are going to have, okay, so can for ability. All right, so we're gonna have, so we're gonna have uh, the subject, right? We're gonna use can, or we are going to use be allowed to, plus, Compliment, okay? Now this is if we're building sentences. So I can say guys, well, give me a subject guys. Give me the name of someone you like. Subject I. I, okay, right. You can like yourself, okay, I. <laughs> I, hey, that's good. That, that's, that's, a good, that's a good one. Hey, give me the name of someone you like. I, right? Okay, thank you. So, so I, can, I, I can speak English so, uh, or I can meet you tomorrow. So I can speak. Okay. So, so I can, hold on. Um, hold on, hold on. All right. So I can speak English. All right, I want to talk about this example. It's not incorrect, okay? It's not incorrect. It's not incorrect, but what's wrong with this, guys? There's something wrong. Because it's wrong because we are talking about permission and speak English is an ability. Exactly, guys. The reason why this is wrong technically is because this is an ability. All right. Now, technically, and I said technically, guys, because what happens? What happens if I am in a Spanish classroom? You know what? I actually can. Can I say, guys? Yeah, I, I, I can. I can speak English, right? If you say I can speak English, guys, it sounds like you're talking about an ability. What if you said he can speak English? This is also an ability, right? But we can use it for permission. For example, we could somebody could say, you know, uh, can he speak English? And this is a very good example, guys. This is a very good example because I want you to understand something. What if somebody asks, guys, if this person can speak English? You know, can he speak English? Is this ability or is this permission? It's ability. Permission. Right. This is, hey, okay, this is ability. Guys, in the scenario that something sounds like an ability and not permission, that is not clear, you need to say instead of this, is he allowed to speak English? And they will say, yeah, he can speak English or he is allowed to speak English, okay? Okay, now why, why am I saying that guys? Because we run into these scenarios that are going to become confusing, okay? When can is confused for ability and you want to specify that you're talking about permission you need to use allow to, be allowed to, okay? 
Got it? So, got it. all right. So, si el model can <coughs> es confuso porque se oye como que estás hablando de una habilidad, entonces tenés que usar be allowed to porque es la única forma que no se escuche confuso. Got it? All right, okay. that's what I said. So that's, guys, that's why, you know, we need to learn that we can use be allowed to. All right? Very good. So I like that example. Thank you so much for that example. That is, that is really good. Okay. All right, so give me another one, guys. Let's have another one. For permission, right? Permission. Uh, can I go to the bathroom? Well, yeah. If, if we talk about questions, right, because we're going to... We're going to talk about questions. Right. We're going to talk about questions. Yeah, you can say, can I go to the bathroom? So in that case, the structure would change because that won't, that, that won't be, you know, it won't be um, subject, right? Remember, I, I asked at the beginning, is a model a verb? I mean, an, an auxiliary, and you said yes, right? So if it is an auxiliary, guys, and we wanna ask a question for permission, we're gonna start with can, right? Can. can. We're gonna start with can. Plus? Subject. Subject, right? Plus? Verb. Well, yeah, the, the verb, okay, verb in base form, all right, and then the complement. And here we missed, guys, okay, verb, base form, too, right? So that's what we missed there. Yeah. All right, so, okay, so we got this, right? Can I go to the bathroom, okay, very good. What about this, guys? Can... Can I open the windows? Can I open the windows? Very good. All right. Can I say, guys, can you run fast? Can I say that? No. No? Yes, I can say, can, you, can, I, can you run fast, right? Yes, I can say that. I can say, can you run fast? All right. But is this ability or is this permission? It's ability. It's ability, right? It's ability. Very good. So how do I turn this into permission if, if it is confusing? Are you allowed? to run fast very good so we will say right are you allowed to run fast pretty good thank you all right so we're gonna say guys are you allowed to run fast right okay um so so far so good guys so far so good so far so good teacher all right so this is can for permission okay so now you do me a favor Okay, I want you to write down five examples in your notebook. Actually, do this, okay? I'm gonna couple you up, and you're gonna and you're gonna write down five examples of sentences, right? That uh, the sentences can for permission, guys. Sorry. All right, sentences for using can for permission. And you're gonna give me five questions using can for permission, okay? So exactly like the example that we got here. I'm gonna send this to the WhatsApp group so you can have something, you know, some sort of guide, okay? All right, any questions, guys? We're good, all right. So let's go. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen.
All right, let's go, guys. Let's join. Let's let's join because people are waiting for you. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll be allowed, allowed to what's it called? allowed to ever. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Allowed to be allowed to mm -hmm. is when I when I say when you use for permission for, for permission yeah uh -huh. is uh, sometimes we can see the signs when it said you can uh, you can parking here till eight a.m. to 4 p.m., for example. Okay, mm. we can we can write that sentence. Uh, okay. Right, so how are we doing? You guys, we, girls? We, we just starting with the first one. All right, great. Great. Okay. Okay, the first one, you can park here from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Sounds good, teacher? Yeah, that is correct. Okay, thank you. Is correct, teacher. She is allowed to go out with friends. Yes, that is correct. She is allowed, right? Remember that after the verb be, you need to use a past participle. She's allowed. 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 Yes. Do we have to use the can for that one, or just? She's allowed. No, she's you allowed. need to use she's allowed. Yeah. She's allowed to go out with friends. Go, cool. okay. She's allowed to go out with friends, yes. Mm -hmm. And the third one can be he's allowed to see that movie. Yes, you can say she's allowed to see that movie, yes. Thank you. All right, very good, very good. She's allowed. How are we doing here, guys? Everything good? Um, yes, teacher. Um, we we are working on in the sentences. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, in my case, uh, I already have them. You have them? Yes. Okay. Uh, what are they? Um, for example, <clears throat> are employees allowed to bring their pets to work? And 
other one is smoking allowed in this restaurant. Uh, are you allowed to use your phone during class? And uh, are visitors are vis visitors allowed to take photographs inside the art gallery? All right. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. Uh, thank you. Those are the right examples. Very good. I'm gonna check in the rest of the team. Okay. You can uh, you can talk meanwhile, right? Because I need to check on everybody else. But uh, good job. You're doing great. Thanks. Sir. No, pero, pero, va, el allow, teacher, Tell me. Eh, estamos en un dilema. Tell me. Eh, can, eh, eh, we are going to use eh, can for, eh, for abilities? No, no, only for, for permission. Ah, for permission. Yes. Okay. Teacher, is okay. correct. The, the sentence we can explain to, to use, for example. We can what, I'm sorry? We can explain to use. We can explain to use. What is mm -hmm. that? Nosotros podemos explicarlo. We can explain it. Explain. We can explain it. It. Uh -huh. We, we can, can explain, explain it. it. To use. No, no, why are you why are you saying to use? What is to use? I don't know what that is. Okay, we can explain it. Yeah, we can explain it. Uh-huh. The other other example, they can to speak fluency English. Remember that okay, a motor verb is follow follow the structure because you're saying they they can too. We cannot say they can too. Can followed by the verb, right? Okay. So how do you say it? They, they can, they can. They Just can right. speak fluency English. They can speak fluent English. Or they can speak English fluently. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, you can say that. And the allowed is a permission smoking is not allowed in the building good job okay smoking is not allowed in the building that is correct mm -hmm. that is okay. correct yes okay pets it's... are not allowed in the park very good job okay pets are not allowed in the park uh -huh. very good good job what else? Yeah. Um, the student aren't allowed to use their phone during in class. The students are not allowed to use their phone during class. Very good. Good job. All right, you got it. I think you got you got the hang of it. Okay, good job. Continue. Okay, good job. Can I, can I use your car? Can I use your car? Very good, yes. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful Spanish. Hello, girls. We have, um, do we have any questions here? <laughs> no? We're good. Teacher, I confuse the use a low word. Tell me, how can I help you with that? What's your confusion about? What? Esto no sé cómo estructurarlo. Es donde me pierdo. Did you, did you, did you, um, did you, um, write down the structure in your notebook? Uh, this. Okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah, go ahead. In Spanish. 
All right, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Cómo usar allow it? Um, o sea, es como, ¿cómo lo puedo decir? Um, va el sujeto, ella, él, y luego va el, um, el verbo. Y puede, se puede utilizar la palabra allow o se puede utilizar can. You can use can, yes. So, it, de Pero well, it, de it depends because sometimes it's come. If you say something like he can run fast, right? Let's say that you say he can run fast, uh -huh. right? This is not permission because this sounds like ability. But what if you wanted to say, you know, you wanted to talk about permission? Uh -huh. You know, of course you can use can, right? But this people will not understand it like that. So you need to say he is able, right? Or he's allowed, sorry, he's allowed Hello. to run fast. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I gave you the structure. I gave you the structure for this, right? So we're going to use be allowed to, right? So the structure is, if it is a sentence, right? We're going to say, if it is a sentence, we're going to say, sub, we're going to use a subject plus be plus mm -hmm. allowed. And it has to be allowed because The verb be needs to be followed by a past, a past participle verb, right? And then two. And then the base, you know, verb in base form. Form. And then the complement, right? And then you have, you know, if you want to ask a question, right? You're going to say, you know, verb B. And then the subject. Allowed plus two plus verb plus complement. Mm -hmm. Then you need a question mark, right? All right. So this is a structure for a question. If you want, if you if, if you want to use be allowed to. Yes, Gabby. Yeah, you're right. So yes, um, exactly. Or you can use, right, if you want to use can right now. But this is in the, this is to answer your question, right? Because I gave you the search for can, right? So does this answer your question? Um, no question. On no this question. Day. On right, this very good. <laughs> very good. Um. <laughs> All right. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Continue, girls. Permission in? Yeah, can't for permission. Permissions and the other, uh, I don't know, abilities. Abilities. Yeah. Que ahora ya vamos a regresar a la, a, I don't know. A la plataforma original porque escuché recording in progress. Yeah, but because someone from English Corporativo just joined to the Because, because I'm oh. here. Hello, teacher. <laughs> What's up, guys? Hello, What's up? Teacher. What's up? What What's do you mean the, the original platform? What is the original platform? Sorry, what? What is, what is the original platform? I didn't know we had a an unoriginal platform. What is the original platform? The origin oh. of pla platform. I don't know. I heard será que ya podemos ya ya vamos a regresar a la uh, plataforma original. No, no, no. no. Yeah. What is that? Uh, for now, I was, was meaning to I original call the, to the, to the call. Call. Hold on, one person, one person. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what? Because what? Because Go I ahead, understood Fernando. the exercise is for practice, but not is all the class. No, no, no. It's, okay, right. That's what you meant with uh, the original platform. No, it's not, it's not the whole class, no. Did you finish the... Did you finish the examples? Yeah. Yes, I finished. We have four. Right. No, yes, we finished. For, for each one. All right. So we're going to work it. We're going to go back. Okay. Thank you. Okay. We have four. All right. 
All right, very good, guys. Good to see you again. Good to see you again, guys. All right. So guys, uh, let's hear some of your examples. Who wants to share? Me, teacher. Go ahead, Joanna. Uh, you can park here from 8 a.m. for 10 p.m. Okay, I, I think I understood. So you said you can, Hold on. You can park here. What? From 8 a.m. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Repeat 8 a.m. Oh. 8 a.m. Repeat 8 a.m. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. All right, very good. close enough, right? You can park here from 8 a.m. For 10 p.m. Four? No, 10 two. Two. Yes, to oh, 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Very good, good job. You can park here, good job. Thank you, thank you, Joanna. All right, somebody else, guys? Anybody else, sorry? Me, teacher. Go ahead. We can't go to sleep because we are in English class. <laughs> we, we can't go to sleep because we are in the English class, okay? Very good. We can't go to sleep. Now, all right, so now, Teacher, I have hold on, one, hold on. one example. Hold, hold, hold on, guys. Hold on, okay? Hold on. Hold your horses, okay? Hey, that, guys, is an expression, right? Hold your horses. Repeat, guys. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. All right. Hold, hold, hold your hold horses. Your horses. That, that is like saying, you know, perame, right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, anyways, hold your horses, guys. Okay, so... We can't go to sleep, and it's go to sleep because we're in the English class. Now, let me ask you something, guys. Is does this well this this sentence is correct, like this structurally correct? However, is this ability or is this permission? That what is permission. Think? It is permission. Hmm. Are you sure? Mm, yes, because he's talking that can't. It's talking sleep. about not being able to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. All right. So listen, not being able. I just said it, not being able. So if you say, guys, we can go to sleep because we are in the English class, is not, uh, is not permission. It's talking about ability, right? Because you're literally saying, guys, hey, no tenemos la habilidad de irnos a dormir porque estamos en la clase de inglés. Got it? So how do we correct this? How do we turn this into permission? We are allowed to. We are not allowed to. We are allowed. not. We are not allowed to, right? Not allowed. Okay. We are not allowed to go to sleep because we are in the English class. All right, very good. Okay, so now this is, you know, that gets rid of that confusion. And, you know, we know that we're asking, we're talking about permission, right? Very good. Who else wants to give me their example? Thank you. Go ahead. I have one. Um, 
Can you leave the way? Very good. Uh, so can you, Ray, can you lift the weight like that? Can you leave the weight? All right. Is this, hey, that's another good, this is a very good example too. Is this a, hold on guys, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me finish, let me finish and then we're gonna, uh, we're gonna answer your questions, okay? Is this a good example, guys, yes or no? Is this ability or is this permission? Notice, I want you to, very good, yes, guys. Just because it is a question doesn't mean it is permission, okay? No solo porque es una pregunta es permi permission. How do you say? <laughs> I don't know how to say that in Spanish, okay? Doesn't mean that it's it's permission, okay? Permitud. <laughs> no, I don't know how to say. It. So, <laughs> so, so, um, so no, right? Can you lift the weight? Is actually talking about ability. To say, hey, hey, dude, you know, do you have the ability? ability of lifting that weight it's like saying this guys so how do we fix this guys in this case because it is confusing because you're not clear it sounds like you know in order to turn it into a permission right you say what guys how do we turn this into You're not allowed to lift the weight. All right. So you say you are not allowed to lift. No, you're not. No, guys, it's a question. How do you ask the are, question? Are, are, are you, you allowed? allowed? Are you allowed? Yeah, aquí como que soy robot escribiendo lo que me dice. Are you allowed to lift the weight? Right? Very good. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me, tell me. Uh, I, I don't understand what, what does it mean. You, you don't understand what, what this means? Yeah, I don't. You say the weight, you're talking about this. Okay. And then, yeah, and, and, then, and then you got, and then you got <laughs> someone, you know, with <laughs> with crazy hands like this, you know, lifting weights. <laughs> yeah, with, with a big muscle. <laughs> with one muscle like this. Anyway, so yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like <Picasso drawings. laughs> All right, okay. very good, so teacher. yes. <laughs> now I understand. <laughs> All right, very good, very good. Okay, so anyways. <laughs> but those, those like, those, the, the exact, type of weight that I, that I showed you. It's just that the, the weights are not, not that guys, but it's like, you know, the, the ones, these are the weights, you know? Like those are the, the weights are what you put, for example, in the, the, like the bar, right? So you have a bar and then you got the weights over here, right? Or you have something like the dumbbells. The dumbbells are the ones that are for like one hand, right? So yeah, the, the weights are the ones that you, Put in those things, right? The ones that look like this. All right, very good. Anyways, it's not a pizza. <laughs> sure. Sure. It's an, if you thought that was a pizza, maybe it was only me, right? Si pensas que era una pizza y no pesas, se nota que no se hace falta ir al gimnasio y que somos gordos. All right, very good. So, anyways, so, all right. So anyways, um, next one. Who wants to give me the next one? Sorry, teacher. Eduardo, Eduardo, yes, go ahead, Eduardo. Clear question. Um, it's not necessary use B uh, before the allow it? Are you allowed to? We are using B, man. We are using B, B is, B is here. Oh, B sorry. is here. Yeah. Remember, the structure for a question is B plus subject, remember? So, yeah. Okay. What else do we have?
Next I one. can wear jewelry in my free, in my work. I I can what? I'm sorry. I can wear jewelry in my work. I can wear jewelry. Repeat, guys. Jewelry. 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 My work. Okay. I can wear jewelry to my can work. Have an example. Okay, all right. Well, give me one second, Fernando, because we need to okay. correct something here. Again, guys, is this ability or permission? Permission. This, this is permission, right? Very good. Good job. All right, Fernando, go ahead. I can't spend time with my family because I stay in my job. Because I I can't spend time with because I stay. I stay in my job. I stay in my workplace. Okay. All right, workplace, not not job. I can't spend time with my family Why because, not work? because job is the, the job is a noun that. You used to talk about what the things that you do, not the place. The place is workplace, okay? Okay. Yeah. All right. Don't don't translate, okay? It's just be that if you're asking if you're answering uh, if you're asking me that is because you're trying to translate, okay? All right. Workplace is the place, okay? Job is you know your job, what you do, right? Uh, Irma. Oh, by the way, guys, hold on. I can't spend time with my family. Is this ability or is this permission? Excuse me. This is ability, okay? Ability? This is Abby, right? <laughs> this ability, okay? All right, so no. So you need to say, I am not allowed to spend time with my family, right? Right? This is like, this is very sad. This is a very sad example, but you know, now it makes sense, right? Like somebody does not pre allow you to see your family. Teacher, right. What is allowed? Allowed? Allowed is to be permitted to do permitted. something. Yeah. We say only for permission. Exactly. It's, yes. Is, is permission, yes. When you say I am not allowed means no soy permi no no I don't know how to translate okay? no, so, no 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 soy permitido, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, don't translate it guys, okay? I don't translate it, just yeah, it, but it, it's permission, okay. Irma, I, I am so sorry, Irma. I know that you wanted to give me your example. Go ahead. You are not always to say pot photo in the mountain. You're not allowed to take photos in the museum. In the what? Museum. In the museum. 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 Oh, in the museum, okay? Museum. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, why museum. is she talking about cafe, right? No. Very good. So, okay, very good, guys. So notice, guys, that, that you gotta be careful with allowed and can't because can't can be used for permission. I mean, for, for ability, right? So anybody else, guys? Does anybody else want to share their example? Me, teacher. Tell me, Edgar. He's allowed to see that movie. Very good, right? Very good. If he had said he can't see that movie, right? That would be permission too, because there is no confusion, right? But good job, good job, right? So far so good, guys. Everything clear as vodka, Petrov, three thousand percent alcohol. Everything clear. Todo claro como vodka, Petrov, tres mil por ciento de alcohol. Yes. Yeah. Or, or chat. Uh, yes, it's clear for me. All right, very good. For <laughs> All right, guys, uh, did I give Go, you the... Uh, Tell me. 
I have, I am, no, I have a question. Tell me, tell me. Uh, for abilities, you use can. For abilities, use you can use can. You can use can. Yes. Para habilidades se puede usar can, y también para permisos se puede usar can. Pero cuando no entendes si lo que estás diciendo es habilidad o permiso, usa be allowed to. Ok. Be allowed to. Ok. Yes. Yes. Very good. I'd like this. Allowed to. Yes. Yes. All right. Teacher, hear uh, this example. Tell me. Uh, children are not allowed to go to bed after dinner. Very good. So children are not, are not allowed allowed to go to bed after dinner very good all right that's a good example no, se puede right. el tu, el tu, no you need to put it in there are not allowed to go, y go. Solamente allowed go. no no you need to you, this is a verb this is a verb you need the preposition to in between okay mm -hmm. so yeah you need to put it in there all right, so now, guys, um, now I want you to hold, hold on, guys, before we continue. Um, have we gone over section four from the platform? Yes. All right. Yes, teacher. Have we gone over? Have we, have we gone over section five from the platform? No, yet. Not yet. Okay. Yes. Okay. No, teacher. No, I I think didn't we see that yesterday? We, and I and we saw like there were like I think we did guys hold on yeah we did it's just that in section five there is nothing to write you know to to type in right so section five and no you guys are good okay so we don't have to cover that from the platform all right we're good so guys I'm gonna send you I'm gonna send you a screenshot of <laughs> I'm gonna send you a screenshot of absolutely everything that I want to do, <laughs> but I'm not allowed to. Me too, right? teacher, me too. <laughs> okay, so I want you to take a look at the images, right? You're gonna take a look at the images. And um, and these are things, right? They represent what, guys? What do you think they, what do you think this exercise is about? Oh, permission? About permission, right? About things that you are allowed or not allowed to do. So now, guys, the reason why we're going to practice this is because you're going to say not allowed. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to send the screenshot, guys, right now. But guys, basically, you can say if you're going to use a negative, I gave you the structure, right? So I want you to do this. The negative form will be can't or are not allowed to, okay? Or, I'm sorry, let's just be not allowed to, right? Because you can say, he can't be there, or you can say, he is not allowed to be there, okay? So that's for negatives, all right? Very good. So I'm gonna send this, uh, I'm gonna send this screenshot guys to the WhatsApp group. Voy a enviar el screenshot al grupo WhatsApp en ese momento. And uh, I want you to tell me what the images mean, okay? Van a decir que significan, oh, I, I already did guys, I already sent it to the group. You're gonna talk about what the images mean, okay? So, for example, if we take a look at the one that we have here, we take a look at this one, right? Oh, you are not allowed to eat or eat junk food or eat a McDonald's with cola champagne, right? And be creative, guys, okay? All right. So, what, what, what does this sign mean? Oh, this means that you're not allowed to eat ice cream. Okay, or that you can't eat ice cream, all right? Sounds good? So let's go, let's go guys, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. The image is in the group, guys.
Cecilia and Johanna. How are you guys, girls? Hello again. Okay. <laughs> For this time, we are going to talk about something that we are not allowed to do it, right? Okay. The first one, you are not allowed to make a bit a video, right? Uh, all right. There is a ca camera. Video camera. And we we have to write or only talk about? Mm, I think maybe we are going to talk about because we don't have a plenty of time. For okay. We just... Let me a second. I am going to go for my phone because I don't have. All right. Okay, the, the second one is there are uh, blackberry phones. <laughs> you are not allowed mm -hmm. to use your phone. Mm -hmm. and the third one is you are mm -hmm. not allowed to take in photos. The next one is you are not allowed to take photos with flash, maybe. <laughs> and the next one is, all right, good job, good job, guys. <laughs> the fourth, not the fifth one. The fifth one is. You are not allowed to touch it. No. Do not touch. Please do not touch. And then the next one is you are not, allowed, not to allowed to eat ice cream or you are not allowed to eat ice cream here. Yes. Eat ice cream. The next one is uh, you... drink are not allowed here. You are not allowed to? Drinks, uh, drink. alcohol drinks are not allowed here. Mm -hmm. Then we have a hamburger with soda. You can eat or drink here. And the next one you can eat. Or food are not allowed here. And you are not allowed to play cars. Cars, maybe. No. The next one a smile you <laughs> Smile, you are you are you are, <laughs> <laughs> you are being filmed <laughs> that's like <laughs> for the busy <laughs> camera <laughs> smile you're being filmed <laughs> and the next one mm. how oh, can I say coaches para bebés <laughs> How do you say that? Uh, coach. <laughs> no. No, that's not uh that's not uh where you carry the babies. How do you call them bears? Baby carrying. Baby carry? Mm -hmm. It's called a stroller. Stroller, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Stroller are not allowed, allowed here. Strollers. Where did you see strollers? No, no, but that's not a stroller. That's a shopping cart. Oh, oh no, no, yeah, we have a stroller there. You, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, you have a stroller there, yeah. Mm -hmm. You also have a shopping cart. Yes, you do have a shopping cart. 
bicycle I... are not allowed. I can play cars. I can play uh -huh. cars. Y la otra es, es de, de la de video vigilancia. Cámara. No. No can. Mm, es de contra. Es de contra. En Spanish. Sonríe, está siendo filmado. Ah. <risa> es es sí. surveillance, surveillance. Videos. Surveillance. Surveillance. And the next. The, the baby. No, coach. No, coach. <risa> Hoy ya va a llover. Ay, que gracias. Hay mucho calor. Oh, really? Is it going to rain? Where do, where do you live? Uh, I live in Sonsonate. Oh no! Very hot days every day. No, no, no. Oh. I mean, I mean, I wish. I wish. Yeah, I Yeah, I wish you lived in in San Salvador because because it's not raining here. It's hot. Yeah, it's really hot. Yes, yes. In San Salvador, it's, it's very hot. But that's real <laughs> because these last I'm years. More right, more right in Sonsonate. Okay. All yes. right. All right. Very good. Yes. Okay. All right. The so next... uh, let's let's go back, guys. Let's go back. Okay. 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 Okay, teacher. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Hey guys, um, I think you got, you know, you get the hang of the topic today. Tomorrow, guys, I think we are going to have a class tomorrow because we need to recover that day and that always happens, but I have not received any confirmation. So please, guys, please make sure that you check your, your, uh, your WhatsApp. All right because I'm gonna be letting you know through WhatsApp if we have a class tomorrow or tomorrow or not, okay? And most likely, right, we are going to have a class tomorrow, right? I'm gonna say it in Spanish in case, you know, some you know, words were me, uh, lost uh, along the message. So, no me han enviado información acerca de si tenemos una clase mañana o no. Lo normal, lo que ha pasado en, en, en ocasiones anteriores es que sí tenemos una clase el viernes cuando se falta un día de la semana. Entonces, muy probablemente tengamos una clase mañana. No me lo han confirmado, pero ya, ya lo pregunté. Me lo van a confirmar y yo les voy a avisar en el grupo WhatsApp. Así que estén atentos. Yo sé, lo siento, mañana es viernes, pero como tuvimos el 1 de mayo libre, pues, you know, <ríe> no sé para qué lo tuvimos si me van a hacer trabajar. Pero bueno, la cosa es que... La cosa, es que, la cosa es que ya la regamos, que tenemos que venir mañana. No, we're good, guys. We're happy, right? No, so teacher, así aprendemos más. Exactly, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> right? So, guys, right? Recuerden, guys, que solo estén pendientes, estén sorprendentes. Um, yo les voy a mandar el mensaje y cualquier cosa, una se va. Yo sé que es viernes y queremos salir, right? Traten, guys, right? Si, si recuerden, right? Si salen, no tomen, pero si toman, invítenme, right? So we're good. Okay, so, all right. So thank you very much, guys. Enjoy. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. I see you.